And this ball is capped and controlled by Grambling. And Bethune Cookman is coming out in the uh, man-to-man defense. And Grambling with his wife. Cookman in the goal. He's across the floor. Outside. Listen. Through the other side. Inside. A few cases to try to go. Because when it's a busy guy, that's bad for you. Right, right. You, you got two big teams on this floor. Uh, both teams got some size. And you got some all-swack performers on both teams. Cooper with the basketball. Our top Davis. Davis to Prince, who can shoot the basketball for real. Back out top. Grant. Garrett. Garrett. Swings it right side of the floor to Harmon. Harmon inside of the left-hand shot. One goal. Rebound by Cooper for Grambling. Back up the floor in the front court. Grambling in white. Coward. Left side of the floor. Coward drives. Stop. Puts it down inside. Back to the basket, up and under by Smith. Not there. Foul call on Smith. They know that's what they've been doing all year, and evidently it's working for them because uh, they finish up tied for the conference championship. Back out top. Right side of the floor, the film Cookman Davis. Davis puts her on the floor. Davis in the paint, pips the post out of the floor. Garrett, Garrett turns, picks his dribble up, up and under, puts it to the right side of the floor to Davis. Davis, the follower in the right elbow, not there. Shot clock running down, but. And we have a. To zip score. Still quick my leading. Grambling with the basketball. Long range jumper outside won't go this time by Coward. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Bethune Cookman. The Wildcats. Going to zone the inbound play. Throws it in to a two. A two. No. No. Back. No. Gets it back. Left side, shot won't go this time by Coward, but a foul is called. Right, well, everybody's attacking the basket. That's, that's the thing you have to do, and, and right now, it, it seems as if Grambling's a little, little anxious. They want to start the game out doing well, but like I told you earlier, the first game, uh, when, when you're first game in the tournament, you might come out, and the nerves might be a little, little high, so they just need to settle down. So this is a great, great Grambling State team. At the foul line, Grambling Coward. First shot is up good by Coward. He gets another one. This is to try to tie the ball game. Right hand shooting, shooting the basket to our left. Here's a free throw. Good. Two, two score. Seven four to seven to play in the first half. Davis with the ball outside for the Wildcats. Swings the right side to Robinson. Now down inside, picked off by Ground and Stolen. Long pass up the floor. Coward lays it up on the reverse of Duke. Coward has yep. four points in the ball game. Yep, when you get it out in transition, you, you have a better opportunity. You don't have to play five on five. Four two score, Grambling leaving. Outside to Joe French. French, top of the circle to Harmon. Harmon on the right wing, back to French in that corner, but the ball is knocked out of bounds. Last press by Gramlin. And Moden knocked that ball out of bounds. Uh, Gramlin, so Bethune Cookman will get the basketball. Second year in the swag, Coach. Right, yep, yeah, second year. Uh, uh, coach is doing a g- great job with him. Uh, he, he has uh, had a great career, Coach Steele, and uh, he's got some players in this time, so. They, they're playing a lot better this year. Here's Robinson in the paint for Bethune Cooper. Can't get the shot to go. Ball comes off, and here's Moden with the Grant. That's Moden. Coward down inside. Correction. Coward finds you. Down inside. Smith. He's going to back here. 6 2 score. Grambling leading. Bethune Cooper is down in the Harmon front court. Harmon leaves it outside. Prince. Prince quick pass right side of the floor. Garrett. Back outside. Harmon, one in the pass to Davis. Davis picked up outside 
by Moon. Now, with the jump shot, David with the jump shot outside. And we have a 6 4 score. Gramlin leading with the ball. Front court, Moon. Feeds it for side, Smith. Smith trying to get around Davis. Can't outside. Coward on the right wing. Coward tied to circle. Leaves the right side of the floor to Smith. Smith is at the jump shot. Wow, Smith started way outside and ran that ball in. Right. He has four points in the ball. Eight points score. And Grimley leading. He's a wild kid. Two points in the ball. Quick down south. Garrett on the screen. Puts the ball on the floor. Driving inside is Garrett. Foul call to pull the shot. Forty-three seconds to play. Foul call on Jermichael Moon. Here, picking his first foul. Eight-four score, coach. Right, right. Well, what you got? You still got Gramlin, uh knowing that they are the one of the top teams in this league, and all they're doing is just trying to flex their muscles early on. I thought at the beginning of the game they were a little tight because it is, you know, first game of the tournament, but. You watch Gravin. They'll turn it up and you can stand up the floor. Because that's what they're known for. Those Jackson does it now stand up and change the pace of the game. So they'll be looking at the good things going on. And we're going to come back to the basketball on the full night. Go ahead and take a the Open Mic Broadcast Network serves student athletes from Little League, high school, and collegiate coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. From cold, 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 Broadcast Network, the board, the board, the board, the Reach more potential customers to our sports radio package by dialing 832-213-8824. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Listen to the Mike Prince Show weekday on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back. The Phil Kirkman basketball baseline. Right side. Throws it inside. From the rim. Shot us up. For that one. For Garrett. He has four points in the ball game. And eight six score, Gramlin leading. Christian. Four side of the floor, Gramlin Howard down in the right corner. Christian, turn around jump shot. Got it. Two point shot by Cameron Christian. Nice shot. But through Cooper out top of the ball is Harmon. He pulls up over Moon not there. Ball is going to be a good ball with the support. So Gramlin will get the basketball up by four, 10 to 6, with 15.05 to play in the first half here. Second ball of the day. Strike basketball to 2023. Here's Moden. Moden. Ball is going to score out of bounds. Turnover on Gramlin. Here's the field Cooper up the floor. Zion Harmon to bring it up. Harmon. The freshman on the point. Sends it left side. Gatter drives inside. 
He's going to have to have, but it's going to be turned over, picked off by Coward, down the floor to the basket, missed the shot. Jump shot missed, too, by Smith. Back inside, Smith gets it, puts it up, back to the basket. He has six points in the ball game. And Gramlin up by six. Yep. Mr. Cookman, Zaren Harmon pulls back beside the lane for two, and it's good. Right, like the pace is picking up. The teams are feeling a little more comfortable now. Yes, they are. Three of eight score. Here's Smith, the ground in the left wing. Throws it down inside to Aku. Aku leans in, gets up all above his head. Finally, can't get the shot to go. Ball is smashed by Robson on the rebound. For the two Cookman, front court. Harmon on the right wing. He pulls up for a shot outside. Aku got it on his second attempt. Across the timeline, front court from right to left. All right, Harmon, Harmon took that shot, but Coach Fields didn't really want that shot at that particular time. He let him know it. Christian drives in for the record. Coach uh, Harmon, is, according to the roster, is a freshman. Right, and he's a freshman of the year in the swag. Yeah, and, 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 and he's second team all-conference, uh, all so he's a pretty good player. He's good. Yeah. Started here on the one D1 basketball. 14-8 yeah. score. Grambling up. But through could move the basketball outside. Zion Harmon. Harmon on the right wing. Trying to get around. The two to the cross of the corner. Trying to block my Nice. Wow. Block their yeah, shot. He, he, he was foul. That was a block. Yeah, that was either a block or a foul. That was either a block or a foul. Yeah, he got, he got foul. Yeah. Ain't no question about it. He got hit. 14 games scored. That's why you can say that the officiator has gotten a lot, a whole lot better here in the swag. So there are three teams on the floor, Grambling, Bethune Cookman, and the officials. Correct. And they all have to work together. Outside Davis, but Bethune Cookman fires it up there, not there. Rebound smashed inside by Garrett. He piece the left corner. Shot won't go by Dyson. Rebound Gramlin on the board was Parrish. Right. You got to be a man in there now because, they, you know, these guys are bumping and grinding. And there's Christian with a corner three. And that's why he's player of the year in the league. He has seven points in the ball game. Big two-point shot there. 17-8 score. 12-14 to play. Grambling up. Davis with it outside. Picked it up by Smith. Sends it outside. Garrett. Garrett puts it on the floor. Coming to the right side of the floor. Ball is in the right corner. Right corner. Harmon inside. Scoop shot won't go. Shot back up once. Not good. Back up again by Phillips on his second attempt. Yeah, Robinson, rather. It is good. His grounding, he's on the seven years. He's going to be in the game. He's going to be in the game. He's the game. He's the he was charged with the foul. His first foul. And we're breaking to come back. 20 to 10 is the score. Gramley with a 10 point lead. With 11 to 17 is in the first half. 20 to 10. Strike basketball on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. <laughs> My broadcast network serves student athletes from Little League, high school, and collegiate coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. From cold, 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 c
Sudbury Community through Faith and Athletic, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the Voice of the Voice. Reach more potential customers through our sports radio package by dialing 832-213-8824. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Listen to the Mike Fritz Show weekday on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back. 20... 20- 10 score, Grambling leading Bethune Cookman in their second ball game of the day. Tristan out there so far, he has 10 points in the ball game, coach. He has the early hot hand here. Right, but see that, that's what he does. He's their leader. He's their leader. He's the one that they count on to get them started. They off to a great start. They up double digit lead, and, and uh, they got an opportunity to extend that lead. Uh, right now, the throne is in the zone. Here's Grambling with the ball. Out top is Moden. Moden gives it up. Here's Monfort. Monfort gives it back out top to Moden. Moden pulls it up inside the elbow with the jump shot, and it's good. Nice shot. Boy, it was a nice float. It got stored in the air for a minute there. Right. Yes. It's 22-10, Grambling up by 12 here. Since in Ohio, Garrett trying to get inside. Double pump shot is up, not there. Grambling Smith with the rebound. He's going to push his ball up the floor. Feeds it right down in the right corner to Cotton. Not there for Cotton. And the ball is caught underneath the basket by Kevin Davis. But Davis was standing on the baseline. Yeah, he was on the out of bounds line. So Grambling will get the basketball back up by 12, 22, 2, 10. With 10-27 to play in the first half. Smith underneath double team. Power shot up by Smith in this group. Smith with another back hit. Smith has eight points in the ball game. Or is that back into the front court? He has eight, 24, 10. Grambling on defense. Here's Dyson. Dyson for the two cooking. Okay, then the official count on the floor. Are they going to see if there's a two or three coach? That, that, yep, I think that's a good look at that. They counted as a two, and uh, Graham is the head coach. Uh, so he won a three point shot out, but they're going to go back and review that. We have two minutes and five seconds left to play in the first half. Graham is leading. Okay, going to reset the clock. And it's going to be a two-point game. The score has not changed. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, that was for them to reset the shot clock, to get okay. the shot clock right. Okay. Shot clock is showing 11 seconds now. 10 or 5 on the game clock. Grambling rebound the basketball is down on the Harmon for the inbound pass. Harmon is a six-foot freshman from Temple Hills, Maryland. Going to be a turnover on Bethune Cookman. Grambling with the ball front court. He is moving that top. He's the right side of the floor. Marvin down in the right corner. Shot by Smith, corner deep. She is good. Also, right. Well, this whole thing can shoot. And, and so that's easy double digits. So when you got several players that can put points on the board, makes it difficult. That was a, a three point shot. He has 11 points in the ball game now. Right. Grounded by 17. Davis the ball. Put there at once, can't get it, back up again for two. Much leading shot inside that time. Yeah, he stayed so with it that time, and that's what you look for. Down the floor, Moulton Pigeon in the corner. to cotton for three to scoop this time. Wow. They're feeling it. They're feeling it. It's going to be a long day out there for 
It's on cooking. It is. Yes, it is. Heard it to 12 as we speak. Now no shooter playing a fast moving for his task here. Hauling out top for Bethune Cooper on the right side. Ninth picked up outside by Parrish. Shoots the following left side. Does Harmon not good. Rebound by Cotton. The Gramlin brings the ball up the floor from right to left behind the screen by Parrish. He is moving with the only left wing ball. Found him. He's picked up outside by Gary. Puts the ball on the floor. In the left corner. Feeds it inside to Parrish. Ball knocked away, but Parrish gets it back. Back out top. Mode with the top of the circle. Nine to shoot. Ball is out of bounds. Last pass by Preston Pittman. 8.27 to play. Preston Pittman trying to get new players in the ball game, and they will. Judy Bishop will check in, and Dyson will check in for Preston Pittman. Baseline right side of the backboard, Moe to keep the inbound fast. Looking in, in the left corner. Thirty to twenty, thirty to twelve to score. Grambling leading, but Thune Cooper will get the basketball in the front court near side. Right, Grambling wants to make sure they let the Thune Cooper know it's not going to be upset here today. <laughs> if you come in number one, they want no, no counter. We're trying to show that. Here's Dyson. Dyson, left hand dribble. Sees it out top. Garrett. Garrett puts it on the floor. Marcus Garrett. Down lane. Down the lane inside Davis with the reverse for two. That's good playoff that pick and roll. Good playoff that pick and roll. 30 to 14. 7 feet to 5 to play. Media time up. Coming up with the next dead ball. Here's Moden. Moden bags away. Behind a screen by Paris. Pulls up. Crystal. Yeah. With a shot. Man, they don't know what missing is. Yeah. He has three points in the ball game. Thirty-two fourteen. But still Cooper down in a hurry here. On the left side of the floor. Here's Davis trying to make something happen. He should have follow up the dribble for two. Yeah. David Davis is the only bright side right now for Bethune Cookman shooting the basketball. 32 16 score. Grambling leading is Tobacco Moon on the point and going to throw it away. Caught me in mind the ball's going to go to bound. Last touch by Grambling. With the score, the Grambling 32, with Stone Cookman 16 with 6 minutes and 58 seconds left to go in the first half. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize the sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip Daiquiri and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832 832- 213-8824. Serve the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Hello, this is Alonzo Audi Jr., the president of the SWAC Alumni Association. The SWAC Alumni Association is an organization founded on December 10, 1999 at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham, Alabama. Its mission is to serve as a rallying ground for individuals who have made the Southwestern Athletic Conference the illustrious conference that it is today. Its membership is open to former student athletes who played in the conference in any sport, as well as to coaches, athletic administrators, staff members, game officials, and fans. Annually, the association holds a Legends Awards and Roast Banquet or Luncheon where it honors individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards, a Chuck Prophet Wagon Master Award, and occasionally a Distinguished Service Award. 
proceeds from that event help to finance degree completion scholarships for student athletes who have exhausted their playing eligibility at SWAC universities, but who may still need an extra semester or two to complete their college studies. For more information on this platform and our creation, we'll be getting information. And welcome back. Grambling 32, Bethune Cookman 16. Coach with just about seven minutes to go in the first half. Right. Well, this game is going the way most people anticipate it to go. Grambling has shown all year that they're a very capable team. They've been one of the best teams in this league. When you start, when you look back to the even the preseason, look how many preseason wins they had at the programs that they beat, and so they continue their dominance during the. The, the uh, regular season of the squad, and that's why they're on top of this game right now because they're a total team. Take of a streak going to the Grambling. Oh, yeah. The two coming down the floor at the ball, Dyson and Sackett. Let's go to Bucket. The first two points in the ball game. Good move by Dyson. Coming out of the timeout, much needed shot for him, too. Mm -hmm. He's going. He's Grambling. I'm down in the second with Pooh. With Pooh back in. Back in. It's triple team. Outside. Here's Chris Lee in the corner for the shot. Ping pong's out. Ball tipped up. That, that, that shot by Christian touched every part of the rim. It just didn't drop in. Yeah. He found a mid one. He yeah. shot one from the corner just like the other corner. Yeah. Didn't hit number nine on. Here's a shot in. Jump shot by Christian. No call, though. Shot put back up. Not there this time, though, by Mumford. The ball is out of bounds, last touched by Bethune Cookman. He just can't get a break. Mobra, a check out for Grambling. Base on the right side to trigger the inbound pass from Mobra. Here's a crew in traffic to Smith. Smith in the corner to Moulton, fires up a three right corner. Wow. He's good. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dialed in. Mentally, they're ready to play this game. Yes, they're ready yeah. for this turn. 35 18 score. Grambling leading his, the two Cookman with the ball out top. Puts it on the floor, trying to get inside. Wow. Dyson goes, knocked out of bounds. He raised this stuff right here. Right. A dude said, no, not, not today. Just the wrong place, wrong time. And Coach Pino both in. Oh, yeah. Ain't, ain't coming in my house. 5.40 to play. And Grambling leading from 15, 30 to 18 is a turnover. Grambling lead pass down the floor. Smith takes it to the right, puts it up a two. He falls on his back. That beating that fall on his tailbone that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah he looked like a fellow. Tail, that's going to hurt him for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smith had 13 points in the ball game on that run out layup. We have 5.30 to play. Coach might be a little slow after that. Oh, yeah, he is going to be slow. Yeah. yeah. Anytime you fall on that tailbone like that, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be painful. Smith on that run out got that layup. And scored it. While they're attending him, we were they're going to turn him over. Now he's underneath the basket to our left. He was on his stomach, and now he's on his back. Giving some attention, turning up the pain. Right into it. Oh, he's uh, he, he got up now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they're going to sub him. They're going to sub him out. Give him, a, give him an opportunity to collect himself. Mm -hmm. Because when you see a team playing like Gremlin. You know, I know they've been playing all along, but sometimes they know that you got to get a record, winning record, got a streak going, uh, but it's going to start over again today, as you said in the last ball game. Somebody's going to go home. Right. And what they want to do, is they, they want to show everybody that they own the SWAT and they want to win this tournament. 37-18 score up now. Gremlin is by 19 points. Here's Davis for with Tim Goodman. to the left side of the floor. Gary drives baseline. Feeds it in the right corner to Antire. He fires it up for three. He's good. 
back down the floor. The Grambling inside. You get Christian in full and outside. They yes. do it all. They complete. 39 21 score. 18 point lead. The offensive foul called on Garrett. Drove in. He'll pick up his second foul then. Gremlin never took the opposite foul. 453 to play in the first half here. Second ball game of the day on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And Gremlin leading 39 21. Gremlin playing defense all over the floor. He's loading. I mean, correction, but some cooking this. He's loading up the floor from right to left with his double with the half turn. Picked up on the outside by Coward. Correction. Coward trying to drive inside. Fakes David goes flying inside to a coup. Can he get it all over the head? He does for two. Look at coup with that bucket. He's a coup. Get the bucket down inside. Now it's a 4 to 21 to score. He gets his first two points in the ball game to the coup. He's a coup with Dyson out top. Going to set the offense. Working one on one. Trying to get around a coup. Gets inside on him. Try to block by Christian, but a foul is called on Christian. I don't think the foul is called on Koo. He wasn't close to him. Hey, foul called on Koo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They don't get this guy. And you can see on uh, Grambling's bench, they don't agree with that call. Koo with the foul. His first personal foul to the foul line. They're showing Dyson. Here's the pre throw. Pink Punk's in for him. He has three points in the ball game. There's the Sean Dyson. For Bethune Cookman. Spell D H A S O N. F D H A S H O N. Deshaun. Right, he was the four percent free throw shooter. Forty one twenty three score, Grambling up by eighteen with the ball. Cotton swings the pass right side to Coward. Coward moves to the right side, picked up by Davis. Starts for Davis again, shoot the runner off the backboard, not there. Rebound, Harmon. Long pass up the floor. Dyson for two oh. on the layup. Dyson! Yep, you used some body strength on that one. You did. You know, 41-25 score, 338 to play in the first half here. Game two of the SWAC tournament, 2023. He's loading out top. Cut up the shot, won't shoot. Sends the post out of the floor. Two cutting down inside to a coup. And a coup's going to be fouled here. You know, just need your time out there. Not the time with that foul. Personal foul. Right. Well, just showing them that they're not going to foul. They're not going to fold. They're not going to be able to come back to this game. They're playing extremely well. Rapid is done this all When I got a chance to see them live, this is a very impressive team, and they actually saw it. First round is 41 25 score. Swag basketball tournament. And the first of night. Broadcast Network. Have half or do it. We'll clap, 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 clap. The other night broadcast network serving student athletes a little league, high school, and collegiate coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. From coast to coast, 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 co
You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Listen to the Mike Fritz Show weekdays on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Three minutes, 26 seconds left to play in the first half here. Grambling up 41 25. A coup at the foul line to shoot free throws. First one for a coup is good. Forward to 25 score. A coup gets it back for another throw. He has three points in the ball game. Nine four. Big man shooting free throws where, coach? Right. Well, on the, on the season, he's only a 51% shooter, but he's feeling it. This is a good game for him. Forward to 325. Back to the three point lead. But Thun Kuhlman with the basketball. Outside Zion Harmon on top of the sugar. She jumps it down inside, but there's a turnover. Trying to go inside with it. And Gordon was picked off by Gremlin Christon. Christon gets the return pass from Coward. Left side Smith attempts the Euro step, right. and he's going to be fouled. See, one of the things that's helping Gremlin, they share the basketball. You know, they, it, it's beautiful to watch them play because that ball is being shared with everyone. Because we said they share the basketball. Everybody wants the basketball, so the host will get it, they'll get it back. Face now, left side, Gramlin to the inbound pass to Michael Moden with Chigger. And lob it in, caught inside by Christon. Christon lost it, picked up by Bethune Cookman on the field was McIntyre. McIntyre sends it across the floor to Dyson. Dyson trying to get inside, stops. The 14 footer in the paint for two on the follow away for Dyson. Dyson is six points in the bar game. The key 40 to play in the first half. Grambling 43, but Bill Cookman 27. Here's Grambling front court. Out top, Moden down the lane. Hallu, a pretty. Down the ball up top, dunked it down through the rim. Two twenty one left to play. Grambling leading first half, 45-27, everybody 18 again. He's Grambling front court. Guys willing to dribble, the, the son Dyson. Sends it down to the right corner, and he's going to throw the playoff of Grambling player. And Bethune Cooper gets the basketball back down by 18 points. 47 for Grambling, 27 for, for Bethune Cooper. Which is first Grimley concerned, high school and ball game. Oh, yeah. 80 or 90 points here. Right. Well, they're playing well. They, you know, they, they've they earned everything that they've gotten this season. Gary's dribbling around for Bethune Cookman. Picks his dribble up, turn, uh, uh, tips the shooter. Yep. That's great defense. Stand by Grimley. Force a shot clock violation. Mm-hmm. Now, Grimley will get the basketball. Jordan Smith was triggered in by a pass. He throws it in, and here comes note of the pro for Gramlin. Gramlin dressed in white, talking to Taps, saved by uh, Smith. Moten with it, top of circle, down inside, a coup, can't get it. Gary Carter started for the basket, but he walked to the basketball. Now it won. 45, Gramlin, 27, Platoon Cookman. Closing two minutes of the first half. Here's Garrett out top. Garrett, short pass to his teammate McIntyre. Right. Look, went, yeah, look at the pressure the Gremlins are applying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's Dyson. Close it up, not there. Trying to grab it and dunk it back through, but couldn't come down with it. It was Robinson. Robinson couldn't grab it above the rim, but fumbled with the basketball. Moden front court for Grambling on the dribble. Push to the left side of the floor. Go to title out there by Dyson. Squares. State dribble. Sends the left side of the floor. Here's Smith. Smith shoots it. Jump shot won't go. Ball is up. Not there. Grambling with the ball. Correction. The thing with the ball. Here's Davis a step back three right wing. Not there. Rebound. Ball. Lost it. Get out of the game. 41 seconds to play. 
in the, the first half here. We had a short time now, but good because what I'm talking about here, 45 to 27 score. Right. And then the other thing, too, now, that's, just, that's the timeout that you're going to lose, that uh, use it or, or lose it, 30 timeouts, so you get that, set up a, 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 a play, and uh, Grandin's trying to sell. But right now, Stone Cookman has no answer okay. for what Grandin's doing right now. They're doing what they want to do, and I'm sure if you if coach, coach wants to see that. You come in, you don't know exactly how you're going to play. Everything's tight, but coach got to feel pretty good now the way his team is playing. Oh, yeah. And coach, and also, not, he's not satisfied with that. He wants to keep it going. Right. I guess you should have mentioned you got to, Right. You want momentum going into the second half, going into halftime, mm-hmm. so that you can come out of the locker room playing with that same intensity. Okay. So they're not trying to only send a message to Bethune Cooper, but the rest of the team's too. No, he should have sent a message to his team and to these other teams in this class. And then we here. This is us. This is who we are, Grab. 45 27 score, 41.7.1 seconds to play in the first half. Grab out in front by 18. Trying to go up by more with the basketball. His motor to the front court coming against Dyson. On the right side to dribble scoop pass outside to Cotton. Sends it back outside to Coward. Coward with the left hand dribble. Going behind the screen on the right side by Paris. Trying to get the ball in the paint, but it's knocked away and stolen by Bethune Cookman and Marcus Garrett. Front court. McIntyre. McIntyre beside the lane. Stop. McIntyre in the paint. Feeds the first side of the floor. Long range jump shot. Short though yeah. by Dyson. And the ball is going to go bound. Last touch though by Bethune Cookman. Now Grambling still with an opportunity to add more points to the 18 point lead with 9.5 seconds to play. Right. They're going to they're gonna get up the score. Well, I guess because you know the shot clock is about to leave. And oh, down the lane. He can go all the way inside. He's just showing he can go to the middle of the floor in seven seconds. Now. Not much resistance against that at all, folks. They can throw the ball all the way down. Yeah. All right, now, Coach. Okay, I'm about to ask you. For the two equipment, Coach, you came and you wanted to talk about something. What was that? Well, he, he was still talking about that last play where he thought that the ball should have been given to them instead of grabbing it. Gotcha. And then, uh, really, what happened then, his team was not ready. Defensively, because all Grammar did, they drove went down straight down the middle of the floor. To the rack. In seven, seven yeah. seconds and laid it up. Okay. So you got to get a team to come out and play. If not, Coach, you're talking about 47 to 27 at the half, Grambling leading. Right. Well, Grambling came out playing like they want to win the tournament. Okay. So Cool Cooper came in here sleepwalking like they still down in Daytona. We have ready to come back. 47 Grambling. 27 with them Cookman, you're listening to the Black Basketball on the Oak Mike Broadcast Network. Western Athletic Conference, also known as Yuclap, has become one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics today. Founded in 1920 by C.H. Fuller, Red Randolph, C.H. Patterson, E.G. Evans, H.J. Evans, H.J. Starnes, D.C. Fuller, and G. Wood Jordan, the SWAC Charter Class, the Super Six, kicked off with Bishop College, Paul Quinn College, Prairie A&M, Sam Hudson College, Texas Texas College and Wiley College. The founders came up with the league during the general meeting to discuss common interests as a grand experiment for historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs. The SWAC member schools experienced many difficulties in its early years due to the limitations of state funding, but the SWAC never stopped sponsoring competition among its members and student athletes. While only one of the original members of the SWAC still remains, the SWAC continues to rise in prominence among the best in collegiate sports. The SWAC is one of only two Division I conferences whose current membership is made up of 100% HBCUs. Its current members include the last remaining charter member, Prairie A&M, and others like Southern University, Texas Southern University, Grambling State University, Jackson State University, Alcorn State University, Mississippi Valley State State University, Alabama State University, University of Arkansas Pine Bluff, 
Alabama A&M University. Florida A&M University and Bethune-Cookman University championship competition offered by the league currently includes men's competition in baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, tennis, and indoor and outdoor track and field. Women's competition is also offered in basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, indoor and outdoor track and field, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. The SWAT continues to solidify its status among elite collegiate competition with notable NCAA tournament appearances in multiple sports. The SWAC is considered one of the premier HBCU conferences in the country and currently ranks among the elite in the nation in terms of HBCU alumni playing with professional sports teams. Notable professional HBCU and SWAC alumni athletes include Walter Payton, Jackie Slayton, Jerry Rice, John Stallworth, Steve McNair, Michael Strahan, Titus Howard, Cadero Hodge, and many more. The Southwestern Athletic Conference will continue to produce some of the best student athletes to ever touch a field of play. Just as the mission statement states, the Southwestern Athletic Conference is organized for the purpose of encouraging and conducting intercollegiate sport activities for student athletes and promoting academic excellence while representing SMAC member institutions with a high level of integrity and sportsmanship. I've been Morgan Hendricks for the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network is now expanding. If you or someone you know or are interested in becoming part of our broadcasting team, have them to get in contact with us at 720-721-1558. It matters not of your experience. It matters not of your location. It matters not of your age, creed, or gender. If you have an ear, voice, or thoughts to share about the South Southwestern Athletic Conference, get in contact with us, 720-721-1558. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. We are the station designed with you in mind, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are located in Prairie View, Texas, where we are dedicated to serving the local community with sporting events, church services, and information. You're invited to tune in and to join us each Sunday morning for Temple of Refuge Ministries live broadcast, Building the Kingdom One Soul at a Time, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Each Monday through Friday, tune in to hear the Mike Prince Show as he comes to the world of HBCU sports and beyond. This show has been the driving force for daily information when it comes to HBCU athletics. And tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday morning. The Open Mike Broadcast Network covers Little Bay High School and College Athletics. We also broadcast community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. Since 2002, the Open Mic Broadcast Network has been providing local and regional coverage for Prairie View A&M University, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, Glenn Junior College, Wharton Junior College, and Waller County, Texas High School Sports. You can support the broadcasting coverage here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network by becoming a listening partner. Simply visit the website, obnradio.com. Dot com. And for as little as 17 cents a day, you can become a listening partner. That website again is obnradio.com, the voice of student athletics, serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics, really in Texas. Audio Jamaica is serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network is now expanding. If you or someone you know are interested in becoming part of our broadcasting team, you have them to get in contact with us at 720-721-1558. It matters not of your experience. It matters not of your location. It matters not of your age, creed, or gender. If you have an ear, voice, or thoughts to share about the South Western Athletic Conference, get in contact with us. 720-721-1558. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Purdue, Texas. to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics in Philly v. Texas. the opportunity of investing $100 to start your very own broadcasting business that can generate you anywhere from $300 to $2,000 of extra income a month. You can take advantage of that opportunity. Yes, I'm speaking to you. God has 720 to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics, really if you check this.
And welcome back. We're at the half. Two minutes and 13 seconds away from second half action. We're right now. Grambling is leading the Tim Cookman by, by 20 points, actually, 47 to 27. Because the Federation said they're trying to make a statement today that they're doing. 47-27 score. Grambling leading just before we get to the second half back on the way. Grambling came into the ball game with an overall record of 22-8 and eight on the season. They won nine ball games in a row. Uh, they're 15 and three, and also right there is 15 and three is Alcorn State. Jackson State finishing in third spot at 12 and six, Southern 11 and seven. So right now we have a number one seed. That's Grambling. Taking on the number uh, seven seed, Bethune Cookman, boy, there. Bethune Cookman finished the season in the SWAC at 8 and 10 and 12 and 19. Overall, they won the last ball game coming into today's ball game. But right now, Grambling uh, really out in front and, as Coach said, making a statement. Right. Here, not just for Bethune Cookman, but for the other teams here in the tournament as well. Right. I, I, I think that's what Coach uh, Dante Jackson wants to do. And his team is performing for him, and this, that has to be a good feeling for him because it's always tough that first game of a tournament. And so with his team playing as well, he's got to be pleased. Uh, I, I know he was in the locker room at halftime. He's probably telling his team, fellas, let's not relax. Let's keep going. Let's build some momentum because, you know, by them being a, uh, one of the top seeds, there's going to be a day off before they hit the floor again. So you want to make sure that you work, get all the kinks worked out in this ball game. And your, your coach Fears, who's down by 20 points here, you know, earned their ways to get into the tournament, seven spot. But you're playing against Grambling, and they're showing why they're the number one team. Your coach Fears, what do you say? Well, number one, they got to call some trouble. They, they got to be aggressive on the defensive end. They got to get more touches so they have more opportunities at the basket. So you got some people. You got Brent. You got Harmon. You got all these guys that can put the ball in the basket, but they need more possession, and they got to do it on the defensive end. That even stops them. 20 more minutes of basketball here in this ball game. Game two today. Kristen has 14 points in the ball game. Cotton has three. Smith has 13 points in the contest. The Grambling Naku has six points in the ball game. In eight for Moody. Grambling on defense to open up the second half of play. Harmon has it out top. Harmon comes to left out the floor. Left side to Garrett. Here's Harmon in the traffic. The freshman shoots the ball on the fall away. He won't go. Rebound by Grambling. On the board was Kristen. Kristen brings the right side to Moden, the point guard, who brings the ball up the floor from left to right. Moden's in the left side of the floor. Left side. Howard. Overhead pass. Smith trying to get inside. He leans inside. Ball knocked away, but the foul is going to call on Kevin Davis. Right. Being aggressive, so you you know, you got the call, so now go to the free throw line. And, uh, I mean, uh, you get another possession of the basketball, but the key is they're being aggressive. To like a movement on the basketball baseline, right side to a coon in the corner to Moon. Moon pulls up with the following right side, won't go. Smith tried to dunk it back in, got hung on the rim, two point underneath the bag, but he gets it back. Hung on the rim, put wow. it up the two. You see the hustle. You see the hustle by Grambling. They're all over the floor. They're getting all the 50 50 balls. Order National, Grambling leading. The Thune Cookman, Harmon inside, featured outside to Davis. Davis, left side of the floor. Dyson, Dyson leans in on Moden, shatters up. No rebound inside by Robinson. Robinson featured outside to Davis for the jump shot. Wow. Knock that one down. I said he knocked that one down. He did. He has 11 points in the ball game. Yeah, Davis is a good player. 49, 30 scores. Here's a hook shot this time. Wow. Running hook. Smith has 17 points in the ball game here. Grambling up 51 
to 30. This is Davis sends it outside. But through Cooper Garrett. Garrett to Harmon. You can inside to Davis. Can't go to Davis. Ball from the outside. But through Cooper Dyson with the ball. Inside with the shot. Back in and out. Rebound grab. Two teams trying, players trying to foul, but they can't ball down the floor. Shot won't go, but a third foul down the floor. And that foul is called on Marcus Garrett. Right. That. <laughs> Coach Steele saying that they're doing the same thing on his end of the floor, but they're not blowing the whistle. Okay. Mm-hmm. 51 for a Grambling, 30 for Bethune Cookman, 17 minutes, 57 seconds to play. And Christian, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Smith is a 65% free throw shooter. To the foul line for the first time, left hand shot is up. Off the front iron, back iron, not there. He has 17 points, shooting for point 18 now. And trying to put Grambling up by 22 if he can make this free throw. Gets it. It's a left hander. Here's a shot. No, no good, good again. again. But then Kuma with the ball in front court, left side. Dyson pulls up with the left wing jumper for three. No good off the rim. And out of bounds. We'll go to Platoon Cookman. <laughs> Baseline right side of the backboard. Zion Harmon will trigger the inbound pass. Loves it outside. Cut outside by Davis top of the circle. Fagan trying to get around Smith. Sends the first out of the floor to Harmon. He's got about a coup. Try around a coup inside shot. Blocked out of bounds. But there Wait, he is a foul. Waiting for that time. Great. It's, it's knocked right back out of bounds. Easy. With his second got the foul. Second foul. The, 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 the freshman was not afraid of the coup. Went to him, but get to the foul line for free throws. He's an 81% shooter. Harmon is. Harmon the real deal. Oh, yes. Nice freshman. Oh, he feels good. Coach is also set expectation for himself next year, huh? Oh yeah. To come out with a season like this. Yep. A twenty point ball game after him, after he makes the first free throw, the second one is up. It's good. Good too. Fifty one, thirty two score. Gramley leading with the ball. Coward across the timeline, facing pressure. Dismith in the corner. Long range jumper for three. <laughs> Count that was for uh, Chris Stone. That's the price you pay for trying to trap. Down the floor, Davis set it up. Blocked by Smith. Uh, he got fouled in. Coach Steele's agree yeah. with you. Right, right. Coach yeah, he Steve hit him. He hit him, he hit him crowd on. Um, he, he, he hit all on. Um, the official smile just shook his head and said no. 32, 54, 32 score. Here's Bethune Cooper with the ball in the front court. Dyson with it. Feature on the outside. Garrett outside. Davis for outside Harmon. Homan fakes, spins on Smith in the corner. Wow. Pushed up inside, not mm. there. Rebound, out of bounds. Last touch by Grambling. Right, but they want to get another shot at it. It's like Tristan is everywhere. He, is. he knocked that ball out of bounds, then. He did. He's all over this, this floor. That is oh, oh, for, for Robinson, he ducks it down for two. Dallin Robinson. Yeah, they, need down. they need a lot of more rolls, though, to get back in there. A lot of them. Six nine, twenty five pounds senior went in there and knocked that one through. 20 point ball game. They grambling up. 54 34. Outside grambling. Here's Christian. He gets it back. Deep two point shot by Christian. No rebound. Now mm-hmm. outside mode. Both puts on the floor going against Harmon. Trying to scream by a coup. Is that a coup? A coup turns. Mm. He's a foul oh, line. Wow. No, no, no. He in, the, he in the restricted area, though. Mm. They they missed that one now because he's in the restricted area. A coup with a third foul. And he was kind of deep in that, too. No doubt. My way was right. standing. Right. He, he, when, you, when he turns, he's already, he's already in the restricted area. 16 26 to play. Gramley leading by 20, 54, 34. Inside, Davis turns across the floor. Jump shot. Garrett 
There's three used to do Jared has seven points in the bunking. It's just like Coach said, they need a whole lot of them. <laughs> 54, 37 score. 15 for the play. Christmas in the first side. Coward out top of Koo. Right side moving down on the right baseline. Smith going against Davis. Going to the baseline. Gets around him. He's got to a Koo. He's foul. Right. So grab is running great offense. Yes, they're, it is. They're, they're, they're doing it. It's beautiful to watch basketball being played yeah. like this. And that's why they still have to leave. But you notice Bethune has hit a couple of shots. Brandon hadn't panicked. No. They haven't panicked. They still running they still. Right. Most of them say teams that play well together, they like one another. Correct. If you look at the way they're playing and looking for one another, you would think the same thing here. That's yeah. why I told you earlier, they share the basketball and that's a good sign. Yeah. Score. Grambling leading 54 to 37 over the Wildcats up at Tim Cookman. Just to the side, we'll come back. Swag basketball on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, Purple Drip Daiquiri and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832. 832- 213-8824. So the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Hello, this is Alonzo Hardy Jr., the president of the SWAC Alumni Association. The SWAC Alumni Association is an organization founded on December 10, 1999 at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham, Alabama. Its mission is to serve as a rallying ground for individuals who have made the Southwestern Athletic Conference the illustrious conference that it is today. Its membership is open to former student athletes who played in the conference in any sport, as well as to coaches, athletic administrators, staff members, game officials, and fans. Annually, the association holds a Legends Awards and Roast Banquet or Luncheon where it honors individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards, a Chuck Pops Wagon Master Award, and occasionally a Distinguished Service Award. Proceeds from that event help to finance degree completion scholarships for student athletes who have exhausted their playing eligibility at SWAC universities but who may still need an extra semester or two to complete their college studies. For more information on the SWAC Alumni Association or to get information and welcome back. 17 point lead for the Tigers of Grambling 54 to 37 with 15 minutes and 50 seconds to play in the second half here. A crew goes to the foul line to shoot two free throws. These two for two the foul line this is second trip to the strike. Very good. good. The crew's perfect today at the strike. His first point in the second half. Right, we're not going to jinx it now because he's 51% on the year. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get that way. <laughs> but they got the offense rebound. Oh, yeah. Grambling Moden, Moden inside. Gets it. Here's Smith, four inside Moden, fixed the pass in the corner. To Christian, drives inside, floats it up, not there. Wow, wow. See, the ball doesn't stick with Grambling. You know, you don't see one player just holding on to the ball. They're moving the ball, so that that puts the, the defense at a disadvantage, and that's why they're able to explore it. So, so, so how, how hard is it to pitch sharing the basketball? It works. It's very hard. Yeah, it works, but it's very hard. But when you do, it, when you do get it across to your team, you normally have a championship in the making. Okay. I'm telling you now. Okay. First shot is up is good by Moden. He gets another one. Moden has nine points in the ball game. Free throw short this time on the second one. Look at the hustle. Look at the hustle. Uh, Look at the hustle. Look at the hustle. Three, it's like, like they're the only, first, like they're the only team on the floor. They hustle. <laughs> Yeah. Out of this one play, they done had three opportunities. Right. And Grambling basketball again, this time front court for a side on the corner. Moden to trigger the inbound pass, looking at throws it in to Parrish. 
inside Smith over Davis for two. Right, wow. Uh, slick shot that time. Right around his arm for the bucket. So they got so many weapons to, to attack you with. It's so points out that series. Wow. 58, 37 score. Here's Bethune Cookman for a side turnover. Here's Christian up the floor. Look, inside, look, look at that. Oh! Christian, the key. Wow. Man, that Christian, I think, shoot. Yeah. 37 score. They picked the right guy when they were looking for a player of the year. Yeah, they did. Because he's showing why too today, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he's just showing you that they, they made the right choice. Yeah, he the real deal. Tristan with the bracket. The two Cooper ball, baseline, correcting foul line. Going to throw it in to Garrett. Garrett leans in, throws one up short, but he's going to go to the foul line because he was fouled. That foul saw on Cod. Yeah, pick up his first personal foul. Christian, 6'6", 190 to Grand Street from Allen, Texas. It's a free throw. Mm-hmm. Good. Gar- Garrick is, is a 68% free throw shooter on the year. Making his first trip to the foul line. He has seven points in the ball game. He has one more after missing that one. 14, 46 left to play in the ball game here. Grambling 60 to 37. Here's a free throw. Big points out. Team. And Gremlin is going to save it right back in the house, though, to Davis. That's about the only mistake Gremlin has made today. Going back under the opponent's back. Going to try to save it. Gremlin, you got to put one. That was a heck of a pass. Yes, it was. Outstanding play. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Outstanding play. Had, had Paris coach on the news. He was, uh, the guard was somewhat open, but just a nice bounce pass right. in traffic to get it to him to get up. Had not been fouled, been a dunk shot right. by Parrish. Peyton Parrish. I'm, I'm sorry. Malik Lemon, Lemon, uh, 6'11", 235, Russia sophomore from Champ, Champlain, Minnesota. Coach. 6'11". You're right. Sophomore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back into yeah, the front court. Way around him. Yes. In they that got many beef on the team. Dyson. Close it outside. Jump catch by Garrett. Trying to get around the defense of Cotton. Leave it outside. Again, this time, Dyson pushed it up and near the three. Time out. With yes. this time out, the score, Graham is 60. Platoon Tootman started one with 14 minutes and nine seconds to play in this ball game. Swag basketball on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip, Daiquiri, and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832 823-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Hello, this is Alonzo Audi Jr., the president of the SWAT Alumni Association. The SWAT Alumni Association is an organization founded on December 10, 1999 at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham, Alabama. Its mission is to serve as a rallying ground for individuals who have made the Southwestern Athletic Conference the illustrious conference that it is today. Its membership is open to former student athletes who played in the conference in any sport, as well as to coaches, athletic administrators, staff members, game officials, and fans. Annually, the association holds a Legends Awards and Roast Banquet or Luncheon where it honors individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards a Chuck Proctor Wagon Master Award, and occasionally a Distinguished Service Award. 
proceeds from that event help to finance degree completion scholarships for student athletes who have exhausted their playing eligibility at SWAC universities, but who may still need an extra semester or two to complete their college studies. For more information on the SWAC Alumni Association or to get information, And welcome back. 60, 49 score. Gramlin leading. They're about 20 at the half, leading by 19 points. Number 1409 left to play in the bucket. Uh, we at Bob Tour Arena. Coach, go, counting on you here, I call Coach Gene Bato at Memphis. And then he coached here. Where did he coach at, Coach Bato? Coach Gene Bato. No, he coached here. Right. And at Memphis. And then it, remember UCLA, too. I think he, yeah. UCLA. Right. After leaving Memphis, or which one first? No, I think it was before. I think okay. it was there before. I think. Now, nah, I, I would you. have to fact check. Brought to Arena. 60. And then, of course, you know, his son, Coach, came here and coached, too. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Gramlin with the basketball. Moden the trivia in mile pass. Moden looking in, throws it in. Smith comes back to help Moden with it. Now Bethune Cookman applying some full court pressure. Going to back it off just a little bit. He's moving across the timeline. Picked up on the outside by McIntyre. Outside, Cotton. Sitting the post out of the floor. Push pass down inside. And uh, Cotton going to slip down. Ball going to roll out of bounds off his foot. Turn over again. Thirteen fifty two to play. Front court, Harmon throws the ball up the floor to Garrett. Garrett right wing picked up outside by Moon. Down inside. Back outside. Jump stop in a floater. Not there by Dyson. Ball is out of bounds. Standing on out of bounds. Good vicious on the floor for the Bethune Crookman Wildcats. Baseline right, throws it in. McIntyre with it. Outside, Garrett. Garrett puts it on the floor. Gives it back to Dyson. Dyson, left side, McIntyre. McIntyre, left side of the floor. Dyson fires for three left wing. Yeah, that is good. All right, that's a nice shot for him. Yes, it was. And Dyson has 11 points in the ball game. That's 13 points for Dyson. Right spot for Bethune for Goodman. Down inside of trying to give a pass to Smith. Smith can't hold on to it. And back down the floor. Wow. Guda Bishop can't make that shot go. And Gramlin would take the ball back up the floor. The film Kuman coaching urging them on like the defense to pass to plays 60 to 44, 3 or 47 to play. Gramlin leading. He is Smith inside. Puts it up. No. Rebound. McIntyre for Bethune Cookman. Dyson oh. drives inside. I'm yeah, that's his foul. yeah, he lowered it. He lowered his shoulder on. Right. He he hit the hole like it was a uh, third and one. He really did, Coach. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm going to get that first down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of like, you know, the way he went in, yep. he knew he <laughs> got to be a foul on it, but he would have turned to move him out the way. Six to the four to four score. 12 36 to play. Gramlin leading here. Cotton will check out of the ball game. Smith will check out as well. On the floor for Gramlin is Joshua Phillips, who's a 6'9, 240 pound junior from Pasadena, California. Brings it right down the floor. Moden. Moden on backs across the floor. Does Moden. Throw to the right side. Pins back out top. Moving. Down inside ball. Knocked away. Out of bounds. Uh, now, uh, uh, the, fa- the audience can't see this, but I want you to watch for Bethune Cookman. I want you to watch Good Vision. Okay. He's delivering some blows out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> And he's from Lithuania, so that you know they might play a little more aggressive. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, wait. It's just basketball to him, huh? Yep, yep. This is how he plays. Joe Goodman. 
He's on the left side. Dyson fires it for three left wing. No. Yes. And the ball is out of bounds. 11 minutes, 53 seconds to play in the, the second half. Grambling up 60 to 44. Because as you look at the Grambling roster, you look at their record, they have a good record. Not, not by fluke. Uh, where they win, will they also get an automatic bid if they do not win the tournament? Right, they should because right. they are conference champions. So mm-hmm. uh, if they if they don't make it, if they don't not get the automatic, they they will get no, they will get NIT. NIT. Yeah. Right, yeah, they'll get right. NIT. And, not, and I'm just looking at them, right, guys. Who they're gonna pull? They're gonna play in the next tournament. They have no joke. Right. Who they play gonna, gonna have something on their hand? They're gonna skip it. They they they're gonna have something on their hand because. They've already demonstrated in November, in December, mm-hmm. that they can play. Pre-spray. Before they have tried. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yes. Correct. You know, look at Coach Jackson's roster. It's a basketball roster. Right. Meaning that you, you got guard play, you got shooters, you got size out there. And uh, inside game, outside game, and they play well together. Right. So I've been knowing Coach uh, Jackson for years, Dante Jackson. You know, because he was coaching here in the state of Alabama okay. before he came to Grammy. Okay. You know, he, he took... He won a couple of championships at Stillman College here in the state. Okay. And so his reputation is out there. He's a great recruiter. If you look, every year that he's been at Gramlin, he's going to have somebody from the Midwest on his roster, particularly Milwaukee. Okay. You know, so so uh, he's been doing the X's and O's and the recruiting. He's well known in the state of Alabama. We're just, the squack is just now finding out about it. Right. And I'm looking at that you know, for him to get an opportunity to the coach. As, as you say Stillman, right? Stillman and, and, and win, and then get a chance to go to D one. Right. You don't see that that often that they get the opportunity. Right. But if somebody who's done homework and find out this brother can coach. Right. He he paid his dues. Correct. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. And, and he's put together a good team. And and here's the scary part now. Most of these kids will be back next year. Right. <laughs> they can play. Yep. Sixty forty four score. Grambling leading with 11 minutes and 53 seconds to play in the second half. Now, but through Cookman, what, what are they trying to do? Obviously, they want to win the ball game. They're looking at 11 minutes and 53 seconds down by 16 points here. Well, you got to do it in seconds. Yes, I would wait for them. You, you, but but they, they won't. Okay, you got to have something coming out of this game to build on. Okay. You got to have Thank something you. to build yeah. on going into the off season. Yeah. So he wants them to play well coming down the stretch. Okay. But then Pimmel will get the basketball coming out of the timeout. Harmon will trigger the inbound pass. Baseline right side of the backboard. Harmon looking to lob it out top. Caught by Dyson. Dyson bags away. Moffitt checking him. Left hand dribble close to left side. 13 to shoot. Continue to go to the left side. Gets to the basket. Shot is up. Not fair. Rebound by Moulton on the offside. Shot it over the rim. Yeah. Foul call on Dyson. Missed that shot, Josh. Got to the head to do something. This is foul number two. So three this day on him. That's a one and one, huh? One and one with 11 37 to play. Yeah. In the game. And that's the 17 foul there. Yeah. Oh, they're taking him out. I wanted to keep through the bitches. He was working on a stinger because he hit somebody with and, and he caught a stinger after he hit it. Wow. <laughs> Coach, he hit somebody and hurt himself. He, del- he delivered it. Look at it. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Pretty he's physical. Trying, yep. trying to shake it out. Yep. First free throw. Here comes free throw number two. Come on. Trying to put two together here. And he does. Good. Right. Six, and, th- and that's good because on the seasons, it's only 64%. You want your guards temper. Uh, generally, you want them to be able to shoot the free throws. 62 44 score, 18 point lead again. Turn the corner, is Harmon inside, shot is up, not there. Foul call on Christian. Christian turns, turn away. He will get the foul. I'm recording this, the first one on Christian. Yeah, that might be the only thing he's done. He, 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 that might be the only thing he's done wrong, and, and right now, Coach Jackson doesn't believe he fouled him. Okay. So, so that's debatable. 
whether or not, even though the officials blew the whistle, mm-hmm. it's debatable whether or not that was a foul. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? And it was his first one. Right. Right. His That's what I'm one. saying because because right now Christian is playing a almost perfect ball game. Right. He's doing a great job with 19 points. And the free throws there, that one is good by Harmon. Harmon, two for two. To the front court, Grambling. Outside, wow. trying to get inside. Mumford, the layup, not good. Phillips, Grambling with the ball again. Right, because of the hustle play. Hustle. Yeah, quick to the ball. Moving behind the back. Thieves oh, that's wow. Right. Oh. Oh, Dunk shot. And that's wow. what he's waiting for. By Lewis. Back down the floor. That's perfect assist. Garrett with that bracket. And back down. Grambling. Coward. Keep the shot. 64 48. Grambling leading. In the corner. Dyson inside for the layup. Not there. Got his own rebound. Ball comes out. He's the floor stolen though by Grambling two and two down the floor. Wow. And Christian got back to it, passed it. He stole the ball. This Grambling team is all over this floor, man. It's right. like it's seven people out there for Grambling at one time. Right. They're yeah. so active. Right. Now, so Grambling up 64, 40, been out in front, 20 points. Who are they playing against now? What are they doing now? Well, they're playing against themselves. What he's looked, what Coach Jackson wants right now is consistency. After a while, you'll probably see him sit some of his – he's already played a lot of people now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he'll, he'll get his veterans out and let – these other guys get some game experience because they may need them in the next ball game. Okay. First shot won't go by Christian. The only shot won't go by Christian. Rebound. Lock pass in time. Ball knocked away by Smith. Make that Christian. Alou. Akou. Akou has eight points in the ball game. Right. And coaches wanted him out there to show his teammate this is how we do it. Davis! Davis can play. He 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 yeah, he's not, not, not in here. Not in here. Get that weak stuff out of him. Jonathan Aku is 6'11", 255. Smith out. Moon out. And... and Let's get 651. Here's Davis with the right hand fall away. Not there. Rebound. Grambling. Cotton on the board. Into the front court. Tries inside. Left hand shot by got Smith. Good. These guys spent some time in the gym, you can tell. Right, right. That oh, weight yeah. room. We're yeah, really holding the ball. Yep. 68 51. 908 to play. Grambling leading. But then could move the ball outside. Harmon. Harmon trying to get inside on uh, Muffer. Shoots it up on the right elbow short. Right. But he was foul. Yeah, he worked for that one. He worked He worked Brandon to get that call. Muffer has a foul. 18 fouls on Bethune so Cookman, five on Grambling. Going Grambling, six, David Bethune Cookman, 51. Blue dribbles. Free throw is up. Good. Did Coach Jackson play college basketball? But no, he, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But he. he I, oh, I, you know what? Central State. Central, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
front court, left wing there. Second shot was not there. 68-52. In the right corner. Grambling, Cotton. Inside to a coup. Wow. Late in for two. A coup with the bucket. Now, shot, we saw Phillip miss around the basket. A coup. Yeah. He doesn't miss those shots. No, he ain't, he ain't missing none of that. 70 52. Up by 18 again. Grambling. Joe French in the ball game. Where's he been? Here's Davis with the shot. Not there. Rebound, Grambling. Wow. And a foul call. Inadvertently, though. Yeah. Cotton fell to the floor. And that's a one and one. Going to walk to the right hand of the court and shoot free throws. And not only did Dante uh, play at uh, Central State, he was all conference performer. Oh, he could play. He could play the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm comparing the coaches. Because uh, in Pierce, was that you and LB, right? Correct. And he played on the, the high level, right? And he played about 16 years in the NBA. So yeah, we know he can play. Right. So now, if they had to go one on one, who would you put your money on? Well, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What I'm, my point I'm trying to make <laughs> here, coaching. Playing for your level. There you, you go. Know? There you go. There you go. I read the field. Field was a field was a player now. Yes, sir. You know, I he, 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 he get the edge, coach. Hey, as they say, that dog can hunt. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> he get the edge in that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. coach is a different deal right now with coach. And it goes to show you wherever you play, wherever you go, doesn't mean that you can come down and do what he's doing here. Right. Coach is a different animal. Correct. Uh, back at the floor, Gremlin, bags away, Cotton. Sends it outside. Outside. Coward. Coward puts it on the floor with the dribble. 17 to shoot, 7 4 to win the play. Grambling up by 18. 7 to the 52. Coward, top of the circle. Down oh. the side to a coup. Good, great catch wow. by a coup. Hey, no, let me say that. He set his man up now. Great body movement by a coup now because he sealed him off. Okay. okay. He created that, okay. that, uh, that space to get the. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. He's having fun. He's still talking out there. Right. He's happy. 20 point ball game. Two point shot by your man, Josh Davis. Man, David, that's my guy. That's my guy there. Yeah. I tell you, too, I like his game. He can play. He can play with me any day. 72 55 score, seven minutes to play. In the game, grambling up. He is coward, faking, coward inside with the photo off the left of two. Wow. <laughs> To the foul line. Yeah, we we got some good basketball players in this town. Yes, sir. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. 74, 55 school. And, and when you say that, coach, they can play for any level. Right. Any other school from the power five. This, right. These guys can play basketball. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. We're in break. We'll come back. 74, Grambling, 55, face for you. Sweat basketball on the open mic broadcast network. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip, Daiquiri, and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832 832- 213-8824. Serve the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Hello, this is Alonzo Hardy Jr., the president of the SWAC Alumni Association. The SWAC Alumni Association is an organization founded on December 10, 1999 at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham, Alabama. Its mission is to serve as a rallying ground for individuals who have made the Southwestern Athletic Conference the illustrious conference that it is today. Its membership is open to former student athletes who played in the conference in any sport, as well as to coaches, athletic administrators, staff members, 
game officials, and fans. Annually, the association holds a Legends Awards and Roast Banquet or Luncheon where it honors individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards, a Chuck Props Wagon Master Award, and occasionally a Distinguished Service Award. Proceeds from that event help to finance degree completion scholarships for student athletes who have exhausted their playing eligibility at SWAC universities but who may still need an extra semester or two to complete their college studies. For more information on the SWAC Alumni Association or to get information And welcome back. Six minutes and 53 seconds to play in the second ball game of the day. Grambling jumped out and they're still out in front. Yeah. But they could and, and they never looked back. They did not. No. And how I see the other Mississippi team is here in the bleacher watching. Who's that? Jackson State. But Gremlin saying to him. Oh, so Jackson State and Gremlin both watch, I mean, uh, Alcorn both watching now. Yeah, Alcorn and Jackson State. Both of them sitting in the bleacher watching. Well, everybody better be watching the way they're playing today. I'm telling you. But then Cooper with the ball out top. It's Garrett. Touch pass. Back to Garrett. From Dyson. Dyson gets it now. Trying to make something happen for his team. Bounce pass in traffic to McIntyre for the shot. Spins out. Rebound by Smith. Yeah, because what Grambling is doing in this game, and they're telling you, hey, you better bring your lunch now because we're going to be here all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> out top, Grambling. Here's Moffitt to a coup. Drops the pass. Cotton. Down Smith with the foul call on McIntyre. Of Bethune Cookman. Fifth foul. He's gone. Yep. He he threw with this game. Yeah. French. Now, French was the guy that killed his league last year. Sir? French killed his league last year. He did. Yeah. And, and we saw him earlier against Valley put up 30-some points. He had eight at the half and put up 30-some. Wow. And I'm surprised enough to see him in the game more today. Right. right. See, we don't, we don't know everything. We're not there. Something sure. could have happened. Gotcha. But, but he was one of the, he was all conference now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he could do it. He could play. Free throws up. Good. By Smith. 77 55, 22 point lead for Grambling. Left hand dribble. Out top. Gary. Alley oop for the basket. Too tall for Tall-y Robinson. Too, huh? Yeah. Back down the floor inside. Opposite mm-hmm. foul call mm-hmm. on Coward. A Grambling got there. You know, I would love to see a replay on that. I really think he had a foot in the lane. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes, 48 seconds to play. Up the floor from right to left, out top. Bethune Cookman with the ball. Cookman. Garrett. Runs to a double team. Ball out of bounds. Wow. Look at that defense. Too much dribble. Look at that defense with five minutes on the clock. Oh, they yeah. got a 22-point lead. They're still playing that dog. They get down to people. Not, not yeah. half hardly. I mean, you're up here about 20. Now, when the clock is slow down, they're right. still paying every play. Right. They're oh, yeah. not trying to coast in. They, they're trying to run through the tape. Gotcha. All the way by Coward, not there. Mm. Seventy-seven fifty-five, 5.25 to play. But Tim Cookman with the basketball, going to walk this ball up the floor. Gary, up the floor from left to right. To the left side, Dyson outside, Davis, straightaway three, no. Ooh. Rebound. Wow, wow. Cotton, way up. rebound. Yeah, that was, he went up over. Man, he, he went that, that one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cotton went up there, boy. Mm. <laughs> Screen by a coup. Swing back right side of the floor. Inside, Mumford with Dr. Yeah, you can see that. Mm. Yeah. Put that chicken wing out there. He did. Check back to the ball game is Zion Harmer. You're checked back in. Robinson will check out of the ball game. 
77-55 score with the throw from right to left. On the right wing, Harmon. Spinning. French. Scoop shot. No. Rebound a coup. Grambling. Mumford front court. Bags away. Stays with the dribble. Coming to the right side of the floor. Stops. In traffic. Coward. Correction. Cotton jump shot. No. A coup with the rebound. New shot clock. Hooks it up inside. Short. Rebound. Davis for Bethune Cookman. 4.15 to play. Foul call. Free throws coming up. The foul's call on Mufford again. The hard with the foul. He has three. Seven to seven, fifty-five score. Here's Davis at the foul line for the Wildcats. Free throws up. Got to drop. They basket good. Got one more coming. Four eleven to play. It's good also. Seven to seven, fifty seven, twenty point lead. Turn over, turn over, Grant. Right. They wanted a crew to go to the bathroom. The crew said that's my fault. That that's what you want to see out of your team, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, they love. You can tell that they like playing with each other. Mm-hmm. Well, he's really exerted himself today too. Talking about a coup. Oh yeah. 6-11-255. Kaduna, Nigeria, down in fi- inside, a shot by Harmon. And they and had immediate timeout. Foul shot. Do we come back with the score? Grambling seven to seven. Platoon Cookman, 57, with three minutes and 55 to go in this ball game. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are located in Prairie View, Texas, where we are dedicated to serving the local community with sporting events, church services, and information. You're invited to tune in and to join us each Sunday morning for Temple of Refuge Ministries live broadcast, building the kingdom one soul at a time, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Each Monday through Friday, tune in to hear the Mike Prince Show as he covers the world of HBCU sports and beyond. This show has been the driving force for daily information when it comes to HBCU athletics. And tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday morning. The Open Mic Broadcast Network covers Little League, high school, and college athletics. We also broadcast local community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. And welcome back. 3.55 left to play in the basketball game. Grambling leading here today by a score of 77 to 57 over the Wildcats of Bethune Cookman. And coach, they got just about four minutes to play. Talking about, talking about the Tigers of Grambling going against the Wildcats. They're not going to let up in the Final Four. No, no, they're, they're not going to let up. I mean, you know, this game is over with. You know, know. It's just the final score is the only thing that we're waiting on in these last uh, 355. But you still, even though you're, Bethune, you're down in this game, if you're talking about Bethune Cookman, you still want to work on things, especially for the guys who have an opportunity to come back next year. See, Coach Steele and his staff, they're still going to evaluate what everybody's doing when you sit down at the end of the season. So it's still something for, for you to play for. You're playing for your future. Okay. Um, but through coming in the swag for the second year, so it's Florida State. Did you ever play any of those schools? Right, yeah. Well, see, when, when I was at A&M as a player, we played them every year. We played Bethune Cook and Florida A and M. We were all in the same conference. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were all in part of the SIC. Mm-hmm. And then uh, once I started coaching, I played 
uh, Florida A&M because they're closer. Mm-hmm. But Thune Cookman is a, is a jump from us. So uh, it, it's uh, they've always played great basketball. Gotcha. At the foul line for the free throw. First one is up by Harmon. It's good. Got one more throw coming. Harmon has seven points in the ball game. Now it's good also. Seventy-seven, fifty-nine, grambling out in front. In the game for grambling now, is a two to a two. And it's good. He's been doing it the whole day. Back to twenty again. Yep. Holland has it on the right wing, top of the circle, looking, gives it. Here's a jump shot. Good. Good. Nice jump shot there, time by Dyson. Yes, he would. Foul call on Dyson. That's two shots, huh? That's Kent foul. That's two shots. That's two fouls on him. Lewis, this foul's getting up there. He has four. No one would get to the strike this year, free throws, too. Tremichael's on. Six one hundred and seventy pound rear straight senior from junior rather from Shreveport. Good. Yeah. Coming down for Brendan Xavier, you're talking about the Midwest connection because Jackson, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, mm-hmm. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> from DC, so yeah, it's there. Yep. Illinois, <laughs> Milwaukee. Look, look at the two the kids from Bear. Milwaukee. Yep. Yeah. Grambling up, 81-61. Drill six to play. Outside, Joe Prince with the jump shot. Not there. Whoa. Woo. The rebound of Cotton again. God. Wow. He's, he's playing hard, play. man. Yeah. He came down from a long way, so he went up there. Wow. Good that way. Mm. Foul call on Davis. Cod might, might not be able to move tomorrow. He didn't hit the floor so many times. Yeah, so I'm talking hard. about him. He done tore a hole in that floor. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's going to be sore. But he's, yeah. these, these kids are young. They'll be resilient. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he'll, be re- he'll, he'll bounce back by the time they play again. Right. Yeah, he'll be ready to go. I see Alcorn leaving. Yeah, I see y'all going to leave. Oh, they've seen enough. They, yeah. <laughs> they finished the same record, you know, in the conference. Right. right. In the conference, yeah. 81-61. They yeah. have the number one seat, all going to. And Gremlin trying to win 10 in a row. Did they yeah. free throws up? Not there. By Cotton. Rebound, Davis. Front court, Dyson. Out top, correction. Out top of the dribble. Garrett, four side, Dyson for three point shot. He, he likes that wing shot. If you notice, most of his points come from the wing. Okay. He likes the wing shot. Okay. He has two threes today. He yeah. does Dyson. 20 points in the game for him, too. Two and a half to play in the contest. Grambling leading, 81 64. Outside, Moden picks the dribble behind, throws it across the floor. Coward, Coward pulls up with the right hand jump shot. We won't go ball tap back up and in. Wow. wow. Phillips got him one to go in. Trying to tap it back up. Got him around him was Garrett. Rebound. Grambling. Under two to play. He is caught the three point shot. Got it. Yeah. He has six points in the ball game on two threes. Because he is. And so he is with the timeout. So, so, so he was saying, I know we got a minute 45 to play, but let's play some defense. Right. Yep. Yep. Let's play. Let's, let's finish it. Let's play to the end. You want your team to learn to play all the way through to the end. So that, that buzzer goes off. And oh, you, yeah. you, you saw Coach Jackson at, at, at Thielman. What is the difference with him now? 
his style is still moving. No, he played the same way. Same. Okay. He played the exact same. He played the same way when he was at uh, when when he co he coached at Central State too now. Okay. So he he played he his team played the same way. Okay. He 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 liked that aggressive play and stuff. And he used to tell me about the stories. One of one of my former players and he were high school teammates and. And he was telling him some of the things that we did at Alabama A&M, mm -hmm. and he incorporated with his team. And so uh, that, that thing has just been rolling and rolling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's a good coach. Eight is six to 64, a minute 45 to play in the ballgame. Grambling leading. This contest, Dice has been a bright spot, and oh, yeah. Dave has been a bright spot. For particular. Because, Lee, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think Gremlin has finished below four or three since he's been there yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. He's one of those teams that have been, been coming. Right, you know, right. From right. the first year, you can just see the whole difference Correct. in where they play. And, and the reason why he, uh, they got the, the second place, because Alcorn beat them mm -hmm. in the regular season. Mm -hmm. That's how Alcorn got the number one slot. Mm -hmm. And they only played one game. Mm -hmm. They didn't play the home and home. They only played the one game at Alcorn. And that game was played early in the year. Right. And, and, and early in the year, Gramlin was not as focused as they are now. Okay. Yeah. A minute, 39 to play, 86, 64 score. Well, my guys, back in the game, through the bitches. Yeah. Let's see if we really third round, how many, how many licks did he play? Free throw is good. Coach, that's his purpose, Coach. Yes, sir. You got, you got to mix it up, baby. <laughs> Big guy, too, he is. Yeah, oh, he is. Vicious. Big throw. Missed that one. Yeah, come get the second one to go. 16, 225. Freshman, too, Coach. Yeah. Man, I know how to pick them, but I don't. Oh, yeah. Joshua, that's a good position. Hung around. He's a banger, a freshman. That's four points to bargain for each of those. Ain't much of a freak, though, Sue. 8 of 6, 67, a minute 24 to play. Gramlin leading here. Outside Coward on the left wing. Hook pass across the floor. And going to chase it down outside. Was Reynolds for Gramlin. Just that shot. He can out the bounds. Right. He got that chicken wing out there. Trying yeah. to get that shot off. Pushed up a little bit there. So, so far in the last four minutes, we'd have had a two-piece now because they yeah. had to use that chicken wing twice. Exactly. Yeah. 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 A minute 10 to play in the ball game. Grambling leading. 86-67. They have held most of the, of the second half of 24. They got cut down to 15 at one point in time, but it's it been didn't short. last long. Not at all. No. Left side, Joe French. French with the dribble. Ten across the floor. Top of the circle, Harmon for three. Good. 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 With the score, Gramlin 86, Bethune Cookman 70, with 54.4 seconds to play in this ballgame. Should you no time out here? No. Right. What was that, Coach? Well, I think the officials wanted them to reset the time, the okay. uh, shot clock, and right. they thought it was a timeout. I got you. 86, 7, okay. is the score. But Tim Cooper just going to let the time run out. Grandma's going to run it down. Yeah, he got to shoot it before. Let the clock run on out. Yeah, he got 13 seconds to shoot the ball, though. Coward on the knee, going to throw it away. Harmon with it. Going to push his ball up the floor. Dyson comes in for the layup for two. Get it to the ball with Dyson. Yeah, Dyson and Harmon, they play real hard for they did. And Budovich, mm -hmm. uh, those are three guys. Mm -hmm. Why? Wow. wow. I don't Wait. understand that one now. 21.3 seconds to go in the game. It's Garrett. Coach, you're saying you don't understand that foul? Correct. I don't understand why they were fouled to go at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. 21.3 seconds if the play scores 86 to 72, about 20. Correction. 
Matthew, do it. 15. Now, verse 14. 87 to 72. Free throws up. No good. <laughs> Phillips with the rebound. Phillips with the face nine shot. Not there. Mm-hmm. Rudy Bishop with the rebound down the floor. 16, put the ball on the floor. Behind the back, give him. Ball to the floor, let Globe try to. Yep. Ball is going to be knocked away. Little curly Neal. Globe and gets it back. Mm-hmm. In the corner, French. Not there. That's going to be good. Yeah. The final score is Grambling 87, Bethune Cookman 72, and that is the end of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Well, so, Lee, I'm yeah. going to tell you something. I'm really impressed with the way this entire uh, basketball game. I think some of the other, other teams in the league, I mean, in this tournament, they better look out. Because right. what does that do for a team like, like Alcorn, better watch them. Saw how they played. Jackson State, there to watch them. Everybody here to try to win it. So what, what does that do for those teams that saw that play? It, it should motivate them to work hard because, okay. hey, man, Lee, they're saying, man, we got to bring it now. Right. You see how they play? Right. We got to play like that. Right. So let's pick it up. So the team they're going to play against, they got to come out and play through everything and do them play hard. Right, right. You got to play with that same intensity. So it. it should motivate you. If, you. if you're here in the tournament, that should be motivation for you. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, you can't worry about Gremlin if you off one and just say, you got to worry about the team you finna play. Yeah. You can't think about what they did on the floor. You got to go take care of business of who you finna play. Is that you you can't jump over and say, well, I got to worry about Gremlin. And you fool around and lose your game. You go home. You go home. Yep. You got to take care of business first. But, Josh, the thing is, if the motivation is going to be the intensity. Right. Oh, they're going to have that. Yeah, they're going to have that. Yeah. That's because what, both of them got good coaches. Right. They don't have them ready to play. That yeah. ain't going to be no problem. Yeah, that's what That won't be have. no problem there. Yep, in a moment, in a book, <laughs> but, his, they, you but they their coaches ain't going to let them overlook right. who they finna play to. That's correct. That's correct. No, they ain't going to do that. 87, 72, the final score here. We're going to step aside, take a break. We're going to come back for the next two ball games of the afternoon. You're listening to Slack Basketball. Oh, about, about, about two hours.